nervous walking in the streets of New York City at night because it's very ratty. But I have many strategies. Like what? Walk in the middle of the street. What are you drawing? I'm drawing drafts for my new sculpture, Windy. It's gonna be this spinning tornado. Tornado? I wanna make a huge tornado on the High Line. How are you gonna do that? Today is Friday the 13th. It's a month and 10 days, exactly, away from the opening. I feel like that sculpture I'm about to make, even when we just do small tests with two motors, like two feet of discs spinning, knowing it's going to be 10 at the end. The sculpture terrifies me. I think that somehow it relates to the rats. Like, I'm not scared of what they would do to me. I'm scared of them. That makes no fucking sense. So obviously it's like, you're scared of other things and you project it onto this animal. It's easier than saying, I'm scared to be an angry person when I feel anger and to not be nice. And I feel like that sculpture is scary and angry. I obviously go to therapy, but like, I think that sculpture is what, is what I'm working towards. So the day I behave like that sculpture, I'm not gonna be scared of rats anymore. Yeah, I did. You filmed it. Like a true crime documentary. Brooklyn. Okay. Wait, did you watch Game of Thrones? Mm, not all the way till the end. Because now they have the Daenerys Targaryen, Mother of Dragon sequel. Is the whole show going to be in the Thraki? <laughs> no, the track is what she married into. Oh. كل شيء كان كيتسائل وش الفايس صار حرة بجي سيجي كوكي زيب كيف صح ولا غيرها. So we were talking a lot about the starting point, how recording things that come to us. I take photos in my phone and then I go back to them to um, build things in my videos. So I'll show you an example from my last film. It's called Life on the Caps. And so like on the left you have photos that I take with my iPhone and then like an animation sequence that's based on the photo. I'll show more. <laughs> it's the first time that I'm making a sculpture that doesn't have a video element. I've made so much video and I love it, but I think I need a break. <laughs> I've never done this before. I'm trying something very new and different from what I usually do, which I think you know is necessary, but it's also super scary, mostly when you know it's gonna be on the high line for a year. But at the same time, I think of this sculpture as a video. Like, it, it is literally moving image. This piece, Windy, it can only exist when it's spinning. When it's off, it's not really the piece. And that's kind of like, you know, that's how moving image works. How are you dealing with the sound of the cutting? The sound of the cutting, I hate it. Isn't it the type of sound that makes you want to faint? Yeah, but I try not to think about it because it's part of this process. So I've been good at blocking it out. The sacrifice. I, I expressed the fear last time I was there and I just tested in the 3D program and then it got confirmed which is that it all turns at the same speed and it looks just like a kebab, like a hyperactive <laughs> kebab. Like, I think I know the solution for this. I made 10 groups and I made them spin at different speeds. Yep. And maybe like that's cooler because there's more like randomness. Because mm -hmm. it's not like here, it would always be the same wave like a GIF. Like after yeah. a certain second, you recognize the pattern of the wave. And then this maybe here would be more like a flame. We have all these foam discs that are hand cut. And I thought it would take two days, right? It took two weeks. With the help of Jesenia, Candy Style, like with like multiple hands cutting all day. It took two weeks because it's hand cut. And now what it means is that next week is the opening. And I still haven't seen all the discs piled up on the central shaft spinning. I haven't seen the sculpture. 
Long story short, I'm nervous. can't tell what you're looking at is what's interesting yeah it just really uh, starts looking like a uh, animation it can be a long toilet it's not that this is going to be attached to a much more rigid structure 165 pounds of weight on this you know that we're going to have cool. this is really cool it looks cool yeah it's going to be very cool I always identified with Taz because of his appetite and his energy and like he's really hungry um, but in a way that's like, you know, he like wants a lot of out, out of life. Strategies like what? Like walking in the middle of the street. If there was ever a time in my life. 